Are your pigeons too heavy for the race? Today, I want to talk about something that many pigeon fanciers overlook, the importance of body weight in pigeon racing. Firstly, let's dispel a common myth. Pigeons should not be round and full for racing. Instead, they should be light and buoyant, with muscles lying flat. Even for long-distance races, a pigeon's body weight going into the race is extremely important. In fact, over 75% of pigeons shipped to races are too heavy. So, how can you ensure that your pigeons are properly prepared for a race? It all comes down to feeding. Just a tiny bit of fat will keep a pigeon flying for many hours, but combining this with super health and condition will give you excellent results. If you're shipping a 500-mile race on Thursday for a Saturday liberation, feed high-fat seeds. Try one feeding on Tuesday evening, two feedings on Wednesday, and a feeding on Thursday. For most of the week, the pigeons should feed on 80% barley and approximately 20% racing mix. On the day of return, feed them all the rich seeds and racing mix they want. The most important day to feed for a race is two days before liberation, not the day before. Once the pigeons return from a race, they should be fed all the rich, oily seeds, such as saffler, and racing mix they want until dark. Then, the following day, switch back to 80% barley. If your pigeons become heavy and feel like lead balloons a few days after a race, then your feeding system has missed the mark. Pigeons should never become round and heavy after a big workout. Remember, loft flying or moderate road work will keep a correctly fed pigeon in great shape. You don't need to endlessly train your pigeons if you feed them correctly. By simply feeding quality barley, you can maintain weightless, well-conditioned pigeons. To summarize, pigeons should be lean and buoyant for racing, not round and full. Feeding them with high-fat seeds two days before the race and then switching back to 80% barley will keep them in great shape. By following this feeding method, you'll see amazing body and condition in your pigeons. Firstly, it's important to note that the type of race and distance will dictate the type of feeding regime that you should follow. For example, if you are racing short distances, your pigeons will need more protein in their diet to provide them with the energy they need to perform at their best. However, for longer distances, carbohydrates are more important as they provide a sustained source of energy over a longer period of time. Secondly, it's worth noting that hydration is just as important as feeding when it comes to preparing your pigeons for a race. Make sure your pigeons have access to clean drinking water at all times, and consider adding electrolytes to their water to help them stay hydrated and maintain their energy levels. Thirdly, it's important to remember that pigeon racing is a highly competitive sport, and every little detail can make a difference when it comes to winning races. One of the most important factors to consider is genetics. If you want to breed successful racing pigeons, you need to start with the right genetic stock. Look for birds with a proven track record of success in races, and consider breeding from them to produce the next generation of racing champions. Finally, when it comes to feeding your pigeons, it's important to strike a balance between providing them with the nutrients they need to perform at their best, and not overfeeding them to the point where they become too heavy to fly efficiently. As mentioned earlier, a lean, buoyant pigeon is the ideal weight for racing, so make sure you monitor your bird's weight and adjust their feeding regime accordingly. In summary, feeding and preparing your pigeons for racing is a complex process that requires careful planning and attention to detail. By following the tips and guidelines outlined above, you can help ensure that your birds are in the best possible condition to perform at their best and bring home the top prizes in your next race. Free racing pigeon tips and lots of info, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, look at the links and email below. There are many reasons to buy my racing pigeon method. Here are some of the best reasons. You will get excellent results, it's a very simple system to use, it's affordable, I have had over 400 first prize winners, it's adaptable to any situation. You can use it with any racing method, natural, widowhood, young birds, it's a very effective method. There is no need to spend a lot of money on fancy pigeon products, it's a reliable system and it is foolproof to use. Professional athletes, race horses, take the same products, there is science behind this not just hearsay, it is all to do with red blood cells and oxygen in the blood, without that a pigeon will not race well, or an athlete will not win a race, if he has low oxygen in his blood, the above is fact and is 100% science. There are a few things you can do to improve your chances of winning at racing pigeons. One of the most important things is to learn as much as you can about the sport. You'll need to know the different types of pigeons, how to train them, and how to race them. Another key factor is practice. You'll need to be able to fly your pigeons competently in order to win races. And, of course, you'll need to have the funds to invest in racing pigeons and other racing equipment.
free racing pigeon tips and lots of info, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, look at the links and email below. There are many reasons to buy my racing pigeon method. Here are some of the best reasons. You will get excellent results, it's a very simple system to use, it's affordable, I have had over 400 first prize winners, it's adaptable to any situation. You can use it with any racing method, natural, widowhood, young birds, it's a very effective method. There is no need to spend a lot of money on fancy pigeon products, it's a reliable system and it is foolproof to use. Professional athletes, race horses, take the same products, there is science behind this not just hearsay, it is all to do with red blood cells and oxygen in the blood, without that a pigeon will not race well, or an athlete will not win a race, if he has low oxygen in his blood, the above is fact and is 100% science. There are a few things you can do to improve your chances of winning at racing pigeons. One of the most important things is to learn as much as you can about the sport. You'll need to know the different types of pigeons, how to train them, and how to race them. Another key factor is practice. You'll need to be able to fly your pigeons competently in order to win races. And, of course, you'll need to have the funds to invest in racing pigeons and other racing equipment. free racing pigeon tips and lots of info, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, look at the links and email below.